But I want to see some more harder ones. Yeah, I got your more harder one right here. You ready? You ready? You ready? Oh no! What are you gonna do? Freedom of choice, people. You got a lot of different options, but I'm gonna make it rain, make it rain. I'm gonna do this. You get a minus two, you get a minus two, you get a minus two, you get a minus one, you get a minus one, you get a minus one. That's fun, then here we go. Ready, 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 ready. This is x to the minus one to the minus two. And then y to the minus two to the minus two. And then this is z to the one to the minus two. Divided by, wait for it, wait for it. They're like maracas. Yes. Um, x to the minus three to the minus one. And then this is y to the three to the minus one. And then this is z to the one to the minus one. I think that one's done. And then finish him. I'm going to take it right back over here. Yes. Power raised to a power you multiply. So then this is x to the 2. Oh, because minus 1 times minus 2 is a 2. And then what do you do? You move on to y here, see? So then I got y to the minus 2 to the minus 2. Oh, this is y to the 4, sure. Because that minus 2 times that minus 2 is 4. Sure. And then z to the 1 to the minus 2. That's z to the, wait for it, minus 2. All right. Keep on keeping on. I got x to the minus 3 to the minus 1. That's x to the 3. Because, again, then I have y to the, wait for it, power raised to a power you multiply. So that's minus 3t. T, and then what do we do with z? This is z. 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. That's fun. Now what? I suggest to you that you um, take care of all of those negatives. Sure. Could we use the quotient property? Yeah, and if that's your method, do that. But I'm not going to do that. I'm a positive person, and I like my variables to be all positive and stuff. So yes. Ah, positive, positive. Leave it alone. That's x to the 2 divided by x to the 3. Now wait for it. This is the y to the 4. That y has a negative in the exponent, so I want to move that guy up to the top. This is y to the minus 3. Well, uh, it's now a plus 3. And then here the z to the minus 1 goes up here. This is z to the 1. That z to the minus 2 goes down here. Bam! z to the minus 2. Now what do I do? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take care of some stuff. I'm going to take care of you. Yes. Why? Um, well, I guess we could deal with why. But let's step some skips. Yes. Good guys, bad guys. I got two X's on top, three X's on bottom. They fight. Uh, uh. Who wins? The bottom. And how many do they win by? Oh, I should just cross those. Bam, bam. One. Because I had two on top, one on bottom, divide, bottom wins, and bottom wins by one. Now I have both of these y's and I'm multiplying, so I'm going to use that product rule. You have the same base and you're multiplying, what do you do to their exponents? Add them. So then this is y to the 7. I know I'm stepping a lot of skips here, but hey, this is the more harder one. So then, onesie on top, <laughs> onesie, what does a baby wear? We have one Z on top, we have two Z's on bottom. Divide! Who wins? The numerator or the denominator? The denominator wins and how many do they win by? One. That was fun. And then what? You know...
onesie.